Have you ever heard about a mower conditioner? Or just wondered how those machines work that cut hay? Stay tuned, we're gonna learn all about it. So I previously made a video on how to hook up and run your New Holland 488 haybine. But today we're going to talk about how the heck these things work. You probably heard about a mower conditioner. And that's exactly what this machine is. It's called a mower because it mows the hay, but it's also called a conditioner because it conditions the hay. What the heck does that mean? Well, let's find out. So there are three key parts to a mower conditioner. The first one is this part right here, which is the reel. So the reel spins around and around with the PTO and it actually stands the grass up right before it goes to the cutter bar, which is the second part. This is the cutter bar right down here. It's a series of knives, which are these things right here, that run against the guard underneath it. The bottom of the snipe right here runs right against the top of that guard and it creates a scissor-like cutting action. The knife needs to be held down against the guard tightly by what's called these hold downs. Now I have what's called a stub guard on this mower which means there really isn't any guard sticking out beyond the blade. There's a guard down here, but they're real short and stubby. These types of guards are great if you don't have a lot of rocks or other things in your field because they don't plug. The other type of guard is called a standard guard like this. It's a little longer. It has a little slit in there where the knife moves back and forth. And as you can see, compared to these, they stick out much farther. Now the reason I took these standard guards off my machine is because this area right in between here is where a bunch of grass can collect and get plugged up if you have grass that's lodged or if you're going too quickly. Now they're a little less maintenance from what I hear because you don't have to have the knife adjusted to them as precisely as you do with these. That being said, when I put these stub guards on my machine a couple years ago, it turned it into an entirely different machine just because of how much better it cut and how much faster I could cut. So the third most important part of this machine is called the conditioning rolls. And that's what these big guys are right here. Some machines have rubber rolls, some machines have steel rolls, some machines have one rubber and one steel roll. But the purpose of these rolls are, you can see there's a big crack right between the two of them where they meet. The hay moves up from the knife and it goes in between those two rolls as they're rolling together. And that crimps the stem, it cracks it about every two inches. And when you crack that stem, it allows the moisture to get out. And that's why it's called conditioning the hay, because it allows the hay to dry faster from cracking and crimping that stem than if you were to just mow it and leave it late. Now, this works good when it's stemmy grass, but if it's second cut or third cut where it's mostly leaf, then it's not so useful because you don't really have a stem that you're cracking. Those rubber rolls are pretty important to a machine for the function they serve. But if you're thinking about buying a new machine, be sure to check out the condition of those rubber rolls. After time, and especially if they're set too tight, the rubber will actually begin to peel off and come off in big chunks. And if you have an older machine, you better check the price of those rubber rolls because I think they're almost 900 bucks a roll. And it'll cost you about as much as you pay the machine just to replace them. So, if you're thinking about buying a machine, haven't done it yet, be sure you got rubber rolls that are in good condition if you care about conditioning the hay. Well, we've covered those three main parts, the reel, the knife, and the conditioning rolls. Let's just take 
a look at some of the other stuff that makes this all happen. Here I've got the machine, PTO, which means power takeoff, hooked to the back of the tractor. It's this big long shaft that runs all the way back to a gearbox. That gearbox is hooked to a chain and a belt inside there. Let's see if we can get in for a good shot. Weird angle, I know. The belt in turn runs the wobble box, which is probably the fourth most important part of this entire machine and a common failure point if you don't maintain it. That wobble box moves back and forth like this and this is what the knife is connected to. The knife head is actually bolted just underneath that wobble box. Let's see if we can get a good shot here. You see that? That's the knife head and that is bolted to that long arm right above it that is connected to the wobble box. That wobble box moves back and forth and creates the cutting action of that knife head against the guards. Let's fire the tractor up and watch this machine run. guys that's all i really have to show you on this i hope this was useful or at least entertaining to you if you have any questions or comments leave them below and if you like this well give me one of these too because that always helps i'm gonna make some more of these videos that explain how all the other equipment work as well so stay tuned for those thanks for watching and i'll see you next time